Welcome back, tech enthusiasts, to your daily dose of Tech Stocks Daily, where we zoom into the heartbeat of the tech market. Today, we're diving into the world of virtual reality, where Meta Platforms Inc., formerly known as Facebook, is making headlines with a crucial update for VR aficionados. As we edge closer to the March 29th deadline, Meta is doubling down on its efforts to transition users from Oculus to Meta accounts, a move that signals more than just a rebranding. It's a pivotal shift in the company's strategy towards a more unified and streamlined online identity. This transition isn't just about changing names or logos, it's fundamentally altering how users interact with Meta's virtual reality ecosystem. Failure to migrate to a Meta account before the deadline means losing access to a virtual trove of content, games, downloadable content, achievements, and even store credit, as reported by The Verge. The stakes are high, and Meta is leaving no stone unturned in making sure its users are well-informed and ready for this transition. The move to Meta accounts, initiated in June 2022, was introduced as a way to address concerns regarding the necessity of a Facebook account for using Quest VR headsets. It showcases Meta's endeavor to adapt and evolve in response to user feedback, streamlining access to its VR offerings while maintaining a nod to user privacy and choice. The requirement? Use the same email associated with Oculus account to make sure all data and purchases smoothly transition over. This strategy reflects Meta's broader vision post its 2021 decision to rebrand from Facebook. By evolving from the Oculus Quest to the Meta Quest line of VR headsets, the company not only aims to redefine its identity in the tech sphere, but also seeks to enhance and unify the user experience across its platforms. It's an ambitious move, underlining Meta's commitment to leading the charge in the virtual reality space, delivering on the promise of immersive, seamless digital experiences that transcend conventional boundaries. In the bustling digital landscape, Google, under the Alphabet Inc. umbrella, continues to assert its dominance in the digital mapping arena with a slew of exciting enhancements to its ubiquitous Google Maps platform. Today, the tech giant rolled out a feature showcasing building entrances to a select user base, aiming at refining the nuanced task of pinpointing precise locations within sprawling complexes. This meticulous attention to user experience ensures that whether you're navigating the concrete jungles for business or pleasure, Google Maps steers you right to where you need to be, one doorway at a time. The innovation doesn't stop at building entrances. Google Maps has also introduced glanceable directions for both Android and iOS users. This feature keeps live ETAs and directional cues just a screen away, broadcasting updates straight to your device's lock screen via regular system notifications. For those wandering or commuting, Google Maps now provides wearable and navigation-related enhancements, offering compass-guided views and recommended routes across various modes of travel, including public transit directions for Wear OS users. Moreover, Google is on the verge of rolling out additional privacy-centric features for its Maps application, allowing users on Android to erase place-related activities. This is aligned with broader digital navigational trends, catering to the growing demand for comprehensive yet private digital mapping solutions. These developments represent Alphabet's response to an expanding global digital map market anticipated to balloon to $73.1 billion by 2033, promising a 14.8% KGAR from 2023 to 2033. Such ambitious endeavors not only reaffirm Google's commitment to enhancing and unifying the mapping experience across its Android ecosystem, but also position Google Maps in direct competition with heavyweight counterparts from Apple and Microsoft, each striving to carve their niches with unique offerings in the digital mapping space. This brings Alphabet closer to harnessing the full potential of its Google Services segment, already a critical growth catalyst with expectations set for substantial revenue growth in the coming year. All these strides signify Google's relentless pursuit of providing superior user-centric navigation solutions, ensuring its pivotal role in the digital mapping domain for years to come. CrowdStrike Holdings Inc. captured the tech spotlight today with its fourth quarter financials that not only demonstrated a significant year-over-year -year revenue increase, but also surpassed analyst expectations on key metrics, sending its shares soaring in aftermarket trading. In detail, the cybersecurity firm reported an impressive 33% surge in its fourth quarter revenue, reaching $845.34 million, eclipsing the consensus estimate of $839.4 million. More notably, the company's earnings per share of $0.95 cents outdid analysts' forecasts of $0.82, cents, maintaining its streak of exceeding top and bottom line estimates since its public debut in 2019. This quarter's performance underpins CrowdStrike's robust growth trajectory, highlighted further by a 34% year-to-year boost in its annual recurring revenue to $3.4 billion. Beyond the numbers, CrowdStrike accented its market-leading strategy, 
underlined by a significant $281.9 million uptick in net new annual recurring revenue and a sturdy generation of $283 million in free cash flow for the quarter. George Kurtz, the co-founder, president, and CEO of CrowdStrike, attributed this success to the company's coherent platform strategy that caters to customers' needs in cloud security, identity protection, and next-gen SIEM solutions, an assortment of services now contributing over $850 million to the firm's ending ARR. Adding to its financial milestone, CrowdStrike laid out a strong forward-looking guidance, anticipating first quarter revenue between $902.2 million to $905.8 million, surmounting market estimates. It forecasts fiscal year 2025 revenues and earnings to surpass current analyst projections, thereby solidifying its financial expectations for the upcoming periods. Further amplifying its strategic depth, CrowdStrike announced the acquisition of Flow Security, a cloud data runtime security solution company. This move is aimed at broadening the company's cloud security capabilities with data security posture management, affirming its position as a principal consolidator and innovator in the cybersecurity domain. The acquisition, predominantly cash-based with an equity component, is expected to fortify CrowdStrike's offerings and expand its security footprint, underscoring the company's ambitious pursuit of becoming the platform of choice to preclude breaches. Rounding off today's tech highlights, Snowflake Inc. made waves with a near 20% plunge in stock value following its fiscal year 2024 fourth quarter earnings report. Yet the earnings themselves weren't the only catalyst for this drastic market movement. In a turn that caught Wall Street by surprise, CEO Frank Slootman announced his immediate step down, paving the way for Sridhar Ramaswamy, the company's former head of artificial intelligence, to take over as the new CEO. Despite the initial shock, Slootman will still serve as the chairman of Snowflake's board, ensuring a degree of continuity. This leadership shift has investors and market watchers buzzing with speculation and intrigue. Slootman, at the age of 65, was recognized more as an operator, having joined Snowflake in 2019 to navigate its transition from a private to a public entity. Under his helm, Snowflake consistently outperformed analyst revenue expectations each quarter since going public, cementing its status as a Wall Street darling. Today, Snowflake is venturing further into the AI arena, seeking to position itself as a pivotal player. The partnership with NVIDIA to empower customers to develop and deploy generative AI using Snowflake's data cloud platform underscores the strategic pivot towards AI. Ramaswamy, already a lead figure in Snowflake's AI efforts, is seen as a strategic choice for steering the company in this direction, signaling continuity and renewed focus. However, what might have also contributed to the post-earnings drop is the company's future revenue growth projection, with management forecasting a 22% year-over-year revenue increase for fiscal year 2025. This soft guidance has left some investors pondering about the company's short-term prospects amidst such a significant leadership change. We're curious about what you think. Is Snowflake's current situation a red flag or a golden opportunity in disguise? Could this leadership shakeup and strategic pivot towards AI mark a new chapter of growth for Snowflake? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Let's delve into the discussion. Based on today's tech news roundup, the overarching market sentiment appears to be a dynamic mix of cautious optimism and strategic transitions amidst evolutionary shifts within leading companies. Meta Platforms Inc. is pushing ahead with its visionary rebranding and integration efforts, compelling users to adapt or risk losing access to their digital content, reflecting the company's strong forward momentum in the VR space. This move highlights Meta's confidence in their strategic pivot towards a more immersive digital experience, despite the inherent challenges of transitioning massive user bases to new platforms. Google, on the other hand, showcases resilience and innovation with continuous enhancements to Google Maps, unveiling features that improve user experience and accessibility. These developments underscore Google's aspirations to dominate the digital map market, relying on technological advancements and user-centric solutions to maintain its competitive edge. CrowdStrike Holdings Inkto reported impressive fourth quarter results, exceeding expectations and laying down a robust forward-looking strategy. However, the spotlight was stolen by its acquisition of Flow Security, illustrating CrowdStrike's ambition to significantly expand its cloud security presence. This move portrays a bullish sentiment grounded in strategic acquisitions and strong quarterly performances, demonstrating confidence in the cybersecurity sector's growth potential. Snowflake Inker encountered a tumultuous market response following its fourth quarter earnings and an unexpected CEO resignation. Despite the initial stock plunge, the underlying sentiment is one of cautious optimism as the company aligns its leadership and strategies towards harnessing AI's potential. This reflects a broader market theme of recognizing strategic shifts as opportunities for long-term gains, despite short-term volatilities. 
Overall, today's market sentiment is characterized by a sense of cautious optimism intertwined with strategic realignments across major tech firms. Companies are not just reacting to immediate challenges, but are proactively shaping their futures through innovation, strategic acquisitions, and leadership changes. This suggests confidence in the tech sector's resilience and growth potential, despite facing short-term uncertainties and adjustments. Given today's news, focusing on CrowdStrike Holdings Inc. presents an interesting investment deliberation. Based on the robust fourth quarter results that surpassed expectations, the strategic acquisition of Flow Security, and the positive forward-looking revenue and earnings guidance, my inclination would be towards a buy recommendation. The rationale here is multifaceted. First, CrowdStrike's consistent performance in exceeding analyst estimates since its IPO underscores a strong and reliable growth trajectory, a critical indicator for investors seeking steady returns. Secondly, the acquisition of Flow Security signifies CrowdStrike's proactive stance on expanding its cloud security capabilities, positioning the company to capitalize on the burgeoning demand for cybersecurity solutions, a sector that's increasingly vital in our digital age. Additionally, the bullish revenue and earnings guidance for the upcoming quarters reflect management's confidence in CrowdStrike's ongoing and future performance. This projected growth, especially in a market as essential and expanding as cybersecurity, offers a potentially lucrative opportunity for investors. However, it's paramount for listeners to understand that this recommendation is based on the current market and company's performance. If necessary, consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. In a slightly lighter and entertaining turn away from the stock market's hustle and bustle, today's delightful detour takes us to the glitz and glamour of the 2024 Oscars. If you haven't caught up on the cinematic masterpieces vying for best picture, fear not there's still time to immerse yourself in these acclaimed films. From the gripping narratives of Killers of the Flower Moon and Oppenheimer to the vibrant existential exploration in Barbie, there's a diverse palette of films to satisfy any cinephile. And if the thought of Ryan Gosling as Ken singing, I'm just Ken, doesn't pique your interest, I'm not sure what will. Whether sobbing through the tender moments of past lives or cheering on the empowering feminist undertones in Barbie, this year's selection promises an emotional roller coaster right from the comfort of your home. Now, I'd love to hear your predictions and favorites amongst this star-studded lineup. Do you think Oppenheimer will sweep the awards with its 13 nominations, or will another dark horse emerge victorious? Drop your thoughts, predictions, and hot takes in the comments below, and let's get the movie magic conversation going. To sum up today's market activity, we witnessed a roller coaster of strategic maneuvers, leadership transitions, and tech innovations across the board. Meta is steering its users into a new era of virtual interaction, while Google enhances navigational experiences with cutting-edge map updates. Apple introduces a pivotal tool for businesses to enrich their digital presence, and CrowdStrike showcases robust growth with promising acquisitions. Meanwhile, Snowflake tackles leadership changes with an eye on dominating the AI frontier. It's clear that despite the market's inherent volatility, tech giants are not just surviving. They're thriving through adaptation and strategic foresight. As these companies chart their courses through uncharted waters, the broader implications for investors, tech enthusiasts, and consumers alike are profound and worth keeping an eye on. If today's tech tales captivated you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who revel in the pulsating world of tech stocks. Tune in tomorrow for another dose of insightful market analysis and tech news that keeps you ahead of the curve. Your engagement fuels our passion for delivering the best tech stock stories out there. See you in the next video.